on the anniversary of the attack. Senator Richard Blumenthal addressed them here at the Capitol. He's pushing for accountability specific to one nation's role in the attacks that had a ripple effect throughout the tri-state region. He had just left that morning like everyone else did to go to work. He was going to come home early because we had a newborn in the house. Tom Strada is one of nearly 3,000 lives lost on September 11, 2001. The 41-year-old never made it back to his seven, four, and two-day-old children in Jersey. His widow, now living in Florida, taking on the Saudi Arabian government on his behalf. As chair of a group of 9-11 families that filed a lawsuit against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. A closure to a chapter that is very painful. No one has been held accountable. Our government has failed us. The administrations have failed us. Senator Richard Blumenthal chairs the permanent subcommittee on investigations. He sent a letter to the FBI and DOJ this week calling on them to release documents related to the financial role the Saudi Arabian government played in providing resources connected to terrorist organizations and support for the terrorists who hijacked planes. The 9-11 families still have been denied justice in locating and exacting blame where it belongs very possibly Saudi Arabia. Terry Strada, who also represents Fairfield County families, says it's been a two-decade fight to get the kingdom to court. Now families are pursuing yet another legislative change in the Judiciary Committee in hopes of gaining accountability for victims like Tom, who last told his wife he was scrambling to get to a staircase. It just sounded so horrific, all of this commotion and screaming in the background. The families tell me the reason why they're pushing so long and so hard for accountability is to deter other nations from supporting terrorists. In Hartford, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.